Let's go. Practice transfiguration. I need to practice my spell casting to prepare for the cursed vault. Hmm. I prepared a lecture to discuss the important to discuss this important topic. Okay, what are we discussing? Your brother used to have what? <laughs> what? It went too fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you. I kind of wish they changed this question though. Because we've gotten that same one over and over again. Congratulations. I think my spellcasting has improved. I'm almost ready to return to the Cursed Vault. Using magic in class is one thing. Using magic in a duel, that requires skill. Eight hours! Well, I still have to learn Spongify. <laughs> sure. Ooh. Spongify. Three hours. <clears throat> Today you will learn the softening charm, Spongify. With this you can make any object squishy and springy. In the past, students have used the spell on floor tiles to create makeshift trampolines. <laughs> oh no! It's a reference to one of the earlier games. Please don't attempt this. Ah. Madame Pomfrey has refused to scrape any more students off the ceiling. You're all bouncy bunch today, which is fitting, because I'll start with a demonstration. Okay. Wonder how many of the objects in this room started as something else. I could turn Gryffindor's beater bats into sponges. That would be hilarious. Hmm. Proper way to learn Spongify is to practice on the floor in front of you. You said don't use the floor. Fifteen courage or two books. Uh... Mm. <laughs> that, that was a hard choice. Whew, I thought I missed that. Always grind classes. I need higher stats. Please review the chapter on the softening charm. What happened to the motor car? Did it find true love? What? I love the scritchnitch sound of quill on parchment. We have one energy left. Oh yay! Mm-hmm. Why are we memorizing Codger and Shape for Spongify? Hmm. Ugh. <laughs> I'll say it looks like a big M, but I guess it's a bouncy thing. That makes sense. Congratulations. Finally, go meet Bill. Hmm. 
<laughs> Welcome back, Heather. I know you're no stranger to dueling after what happened between you and Marula Snide. You were there? My brother Charlie told me. He's a second year, like you. Hmm. Before we get started, how would you rate yourself as a dueler? Still learning? My prefect and Professor Flitwick taught me some things, but I know I still have a lot to learn. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. Good luck, Heather. I'll try not to hurt you. Thanks for the, the vote of confidence, Bill. Okay, so that is a sneaky. Oh, no, it was not. Um, should I go defensive? Yeah. I could have blocked them again, but I wanted the flipendo. Um, okay, so he's gonna go flipendo. And now he's gonna heal. Well, let's block that. Now he's gonna go aggressive. That's fine. Oh, I forgot that stunned. Which means I can't do my thing. Shoot. Don't you stun me again. Oh, I need to heal. Frick. It's a Rictum Sempra, which I think is... Nope, the Sneaky. Let's heal. Okay, so it's aggressive. Let's block it. Is he gonna do sneaky again? No, he's going full on aggressive. He switched it up in the beginning, now he's just aggressive all the time. Can't let you heal. And I need to heal. There we go. I don't think that'll kill me. It'll come close. But I don't know if this will get him. Okay, it does. I was worried he might have a tiny bit left. Not bad, Heather. Not bad at all. You say you have a lot to learn, but you could certainly teach me a thing or two. I think we're ready to return to the Curse Vaults? Mm. Almost. First, I need to teach you one of my favorite spells. New spell, new spell. One last lesson before heading to the Curse Vault, let's go to the Clock Tower Courtyard. I 
I heard you got another one of your little friends frozen, Ainsley. You really are cursed like your brother. Another one? Nice weather we're having. Oh, she, I think she means Rowan and Ben. I think Bill Weasley winked at me. She has such a crush. It's adorable. How are you feeling, Bill? <laughs> Much better. Certainly won't be in a hurry to duel you again anytime soon. How are you feeling? Prepared. Feel ready. Never trained this hard in my life, but it's worth it to get inside the curse vault. I owe it to my brother. I know how you feel, Heather. I'd do anything for my brothers and sister. You said I needed to learn one more thing? I'm assuming you haven't learned Incendio. No, I haven't. The professor's hardly ever around, and even when he is, he's hardly ever teaching, so yeah, we haven't had Defense Against the Dark Arts. I know, I feel like I haven't learned anything in that class. Hmm. Technically, I haven't had that class. I can't imagine there's a better spell for dealing with cursed ice than the fire-making spell. It's dangerous, so you'll need to study Incendio before I can teach you how to cast it. I take it you have a copy of the standard book of spells back in your common room? Yeah, my friend Rowan has at least six editions. I'll ask her to help me study. We, why did we come out here to talk to you? No! <laughs> you have to tell me what you talked about with Bill Weasley. I have all this energy. It's three hours. Spend one to skip. This is premium. Let's skip it. Let's go. I have the energy. Let me use it. Is it true the cursed ice is going to freeze all of Hogwarts? Apparently not. It's fine now. How many house points have you earned Hufflepuff this year? I've lost a lot, Jane, and it's best that I don't tell you about it. So you hanging around with that fourth year, Bill Weasley. Are you two friends now? Maybe? <laughs> no, we're not, because he's not in my friend list. Heather, what's it like training with Bill Weasley? Did you learn advanced magic? Did you discuss the weather? Did you get his autograph? I learned a lot. He's gonna teach me Incendio. Huh? So jealous! Did he ask about me? I don't think he knows who you are. Oh! Oh no. It's Pippa, but in Hufflepuff. I told him you have six different editions of the standard book of spells. Thanks, Heather. Let's start studying so that Bill Weasley can teach you Incendio. There are a lot of marshmallows in here? In the couch? Who decided the ceiling should be so low? I'm not complaining. I find it to be quite cozy. It's difficult to concentrate with all these wonderful plants. I can tell Rowan really wants to water these plants. I think she really wants to know about Bill Weasley. I was just imagining what life would be like as a bumblebee, so this is this isn't even study stuff. This is just Hufflepuff stuff. Olga Hufflepuff toasting your students with a tiny cup. So let me skip the rest of this. We did so much study in Rowan, all we did was talk about Hufflepuff. <laughs> Now that I know everything about Incendio, Bill can teach me how to cast it. Hmm. Tell Bill Weasley to send me an owl if he ever wants a study partner or someone to just follow him around. <laughs> Alright, Rowan, I'll tell him. Better promise. Okay. I'll tell him. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. Things are finally looking up after being frozen. Have fun training with Bill Weasley. Uh. Please be careful when you return to the curse vault. All right, let's meet Bill. Hmm. Did you study the fire making spell? Not really. <laughs> My friend Rowan helped me study. She's really clever. I feel like I must know more about Incendio than Professor Dumbledore. Cool, maybe I should ask your friend Rowan to help me study. I think she'd like that. I promised her I'd tell you to send an owl if you ever need a study partner. Great. 
May just do that after we're finished with the cursed vaults. I'm keen on becoming head boy. She also said she's willing to just follow you around. Why would you add that? Hmm. Study partner seems less embarrassing. We better get started on Ascendio. It's a useful charm, but also very dangerous. I've never tried to teach it to anyone before, so please be very careful. And I don't have... Ooh, I don't have any energy, so... I take it back. I have energy now, thanks to <laughs> events. There's a global event, so when you get to the highest, everybody got... Anyway. <sighs> events that they're, that they're doing definitely help. Good, stand just like that. Grip your wand tighter. Not, not quite that tight. There you go. Got some fire. I have to learn this spell if I have any hope of finding my brother. Stand just like that. I have to pay attention. This is the most dangerous spell I've learned. Try to envision the flames and feel the heat of the fire. Looks like we're doing okay. And it looks like everyone's gonna repeat the same thing, so I'll just cut out the rest. Good. Impressive, now give it a try. Well, that certainly took my energy down. Incendio! I did it! I learned Incendio! Whoa. Great work, Heather! Is there anything else I should do to prepare before heading to the Curse Vault? Study Curse Vaults. Damn it, wear something warm! The Curse Corridor isn't just cold. Something about it cuts you to the bone and slows your reactions. <laughs> Thanks, but a little cold doesn't bother me. Ah, we're not talking about a little cold. I need to take care of some things back at the common room, but I'll send it out when I'm ready to meet you at the vanished stairs. Can't wait to break our first curse vault. You make the hardest task look easy. Bill's training has prepared you to face the door. Okay. Is this timed? Yeah, and I need my energy to refill, so that's fine. Oh, ready to watch some Quidditch? Meet me in the training grounds. Okay. <laughs> Quidditch! <laughs> Meet the Malfoys. Hogwarts Board of Governors have sent Lucius Malfoy to inspect Hogwarts. He's brought his hell self. Can you keep Lucius happy and become friends with Dobby? Yes, please. Quidditch first, though. It's time for Professor Dumbledore's announcement in the Great Hall. Okay, hold on. Quidditch. Quidditch. <laughs> Did this just... Okay. I want to go do Quidditch. It's what I want to do. I heard there's a Quidditch friendly today? What does that mean? The grass out here seems greener. You heard about Sky Parkin? No. <laughs> I'm so excited you're coming with me to watch your first Quidditch friendly. Why is it not a Quidditch match? I've been too busy with the Curse Vaults to keep up with Quidditch. But isn't today just a practice match? Okay, that's why it's a friendly. <laughs> Quidditch friendlies are rather informal, but just as exciting to a small group of serious fans like me. Mm -hmm. Especially now that Sky Parkin is on our house team. She's from some famous Quidditch family, isn't she? Yeah, her dad's Ethan Parkin. He's a Quidditch legend. <laughs> and the Parkins aren't just any Quidditch family. They founded Scotland's Wigton Wanders back in 1422. They invented the Parkins Pincer, one of the greatest Quidditch maneuvers of all time. <laughs> And generations of Parkins have been Quidditch stars at Hogwarts. I had no idea you followed Quidditch so closely, Penny. Not always. 
But my family lived in Wigden for a while. That's when I started following the Wanderers. Mm -hmm. And I got to know a few Hogwarts players lately, so now I'm in some of the Quidditch crowd here. Then do you know Sky Parkin? No, but today will be Sky's first showing on the pitch. And I followed the Parkins for as long as I've been following Quidditch. <laughs> and having a Parkin on our team could help Hufflepuff win the Quidditch Cup. Just because Sky Parkin's from the famous family and plays Quidditch doesn't mean she'll be a star. We'll get our first look today. Come on, we can put on our face paint together. Wearing face paint to a practice match? You really are a Quidditch fan, Penny. <laughs> Let's make a fan out of you. Oh, we're gonna put on face paint. I don't. I need energy. I need to wait. I love this. <laughs> Thanks for watching till the end of the video. Consider giving a like or leaving a comment. The YouTube algorithm favors engagement, so doing one or both of those things really helps the channel. There's social media links in the description and a link to my tip jar if you're interested in helping out that way. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the next one.